God, I hit. I'm sorry. Good morning, y'all. Listen, what I was looking for was something I want to share with y'all. And I think that this person sums up this um, plight of ADOS pretty much better than anybody that I've seen. And um, I want to share it with you guys, okay? It's I guess it's on TikTok. You know, not Nikki. It's Nikki and James Baldwin, but it's not that. But check this out. If I love you, I... Uh-uh. Don't leave me young. Just love me, body so y'all ready check this out <laughs> bob being chained to other human bodies for several months at the bottom of a disease infested ship during the middle passage lost their language customs and traditions picked up the english language as best they could while working free of charge from sun up to sundown as they watched babies sold from their arms and women raped by ruthless overseers children born with no last names no birth certificates no heritage of any kind braved the underground railroads survived the civil war to enter sharecropping learned to read and write from sheer determination faced the burning crosses of the kkk averted their eyes from the black bodies swinging from ropes hung from trees fought in world wars as soldiers to return to america as boys marched in birmingham holes in selma jailed in women's and assassinated in memphis segregated in the south and ghettoed in the north ignored in history <laughs> tight in hollywood and in spite of it all someone in your family line endured every era to make sure you would get here and you receive one rejection face one obstacle lose one friend and you want to quit people you will never know survive generation to generation so you can succeed do not let them down wow i thought that I thought I thought that was real uh well said. Now is it me? I thought that um she summed up the experience of ADOS very well. I mean if you didn't get that, then it can't be got. And so let me make sure that um because somebody sent it to me and who uh First of all, Journey's Wisdom, let me thank you, first of all, for sending me that. And that was nice. I, I thought it was wonderful. I thought it was wonderful. Because that does sum up our history more than anything. That sums up our history. Um, <laughs> wow. And I'm going to play it again. For those of y'all who didn't get it, and this light is pretty much crazy. Uh, oh, by the way, before I get uh, going, if, if there's anybody out there who wouldn't mind um, working on an hourly wage basis uh, from right where you are to help me maneuver some of this stuff on YouTube, if you got some, um, if you can do be a virtual assistant, I'm definitely looking to hire a virtual assistant, preferably um, one of my own. And uh, let's uh, see if we can do this, okay? Now it doesn't mean that anybody else 
is not that's not qualified i won't use because that's exactly what it is with me who's ever qualified i will use but i would prefer to start with black people first and that just is what it is so with that being said uh let me just without any further ado <laughs> i respect that because i think that they summed up the plight of us very well. Listen. I can do it better this time. Still kind of crazy. Customs and traditions picked up the English language as best they could while working free of charge from sun up to sundown as they watched baby food and they were all religious overseers, children born with no last names, no birth certificates, no heritage of any kind, braved the underground railroad, survived the civil war to enter sharecropping, learned to read and write from sheer determination, faced the burning crosses of the KKK, averted their eyes from the black bodies swinging from ropes hung from trees, fought in world wars as soldiers to return to America as boys, marched in Birmingham, hosed in Selma, jailed in Wilmington, assassinated in Memphis, segregated in the South and ghettoed in the North, ignored in history books, stereotyped in Hollywood, and in spite of it all, someone in your family line endured every era to make sure you would get here and you receive one rejection face one obstacle lose one friend and you want to quit people you will never know survive generation to generation so you can succeed do not let them down whoa whoa that's so powerful very very powerful i loved it anyway um you know that's the honor of uh black lives matter and uh Amareth 44. I like that. This bliss. This bliss is who that person is. Okay? But they hit it right on the head. You got the nerve to complain. Got the nerve to complain. By being chained to other human bodies for several months at the bottom of a disease infested ship during the Middle Passage, lost their language, customs, and traditions, picked up the English language as best they could while working free of charge from sun up to sundown as they watched babies sold from their arms and women raped by ruthless overseers, children born with no language, no birth certificates, no heritage of any kind, braved the underground railroads, survived the Civil War to enter sharecropping, learned to read and write from sheer determination, faced the burning cross of the KKK. Their eyes from the black bodies swinging from ropes hung from trees, fought in world wars as soldiers to return to America as boys, marched in Birmingham, holes in Selma, jailed in Wilmington, assassinated in Memphis, segregated in the South and ghettoed in the North, ignored in history books, stereotyped in Hollywood, and in spite of it all, someone in your family line endured every era to make sure you would get here, and you receive one rejection, face one obstacle, lose one friend, and you want to quit, people you will never know survive generation to generation so you can succeed, do not let them down. Whatever that means to you, what, 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 I mean, whatever that means to you, don't let them down. Okay. 